to another edition of ClearCast. I'm David Armstrong, Professor of Surgery uh, and Associate Dean at uh, Scholl's Center for Lower Extremity Ambulatory Research at uh, Rosalind Franklin University of Medicine and Science. And uh, we wanted to touch on uh, this subject because it's one that uh, comes up again and again um, in uh, what we do. And I think uh, over the past decade, certainly in the past generation, the our ability uh, as a profession in medicine to make a difference in amputation prevention and in overall care and uh, healing of the diabetic foot uh, has been remarkable and I think there have been great strides made not only technologically but really in processes of care but I think where we have failed frankly has been in the message in how this has been conveyed not only to our other fellow physicians uh, but to policymakers uh, and hospital administrators uh, and ministers uh, worldwide. And, and I think one thing that may help this resonate is to compare this to another type of disease, namely, namely cancer. And, and just ask the simple question, uh, are diabetic amputations and are diabetic complications worse than cancer? Well, we know that the most common reason that our patient with diabetes will be admitted to the hospital is, is for a diabetic foot wound. Uh, what we uh, haven't conveyed is what happens to that patient afterwards over the next five years and how that compares to other disease states, uh, and in this case, cancer. And if you look at this, I, I suppose you would say that it compares rather unfavorably uh, to cancer. Uh, and uh, if we look at these problems like ulcers, amputations, uh, whether they're ischemic uh, or, or non-ischemic peripheral arterial disease, which is PAD here, uh, they are at least as bad uh, as most uh, uh, really rather feared uh, cancers uh, in the developed world. And we would never think of withholding therapy uh, from someone with lung cancer or prostate cancer or breast cancer or or, or Hodgkin's disease or colon cancer, but you know, it happens all the time in people with complications uh, of diabetes in the lower extremity. And that's really what has to change. And that's where we really can make the biggest impact. And I think it's through discussing issues like this that it is not a fait accompli that once someone develops a wound, they're going to get their leg off, or if they have vascular disease, they're going to do so. But I do believe that the, that the fact of the matter is, is that we have to uh, use this kind of message uh, as we discuss the matters and as we counsel our patients and as we counsel the people uh, that develop policy that help us care for our patients. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, more uh, on this uh, uh, is available at uh, the, our website, uh, diabetic-foot.net. And again, I want to thank you for joining me on another edition of ClearCast.